After spending one magical week in Kathmandu, it was time for me to move forward. You guys remember Alex from Nagaland journey? Well, he actually invited me to a community called Rainbow. The Rainbow gathering which was happening far west in Nepal in a small village called Rama Roshan of Acham district. It's a rural place and this gathering made its way to the news headlines as well. Anyways, that's exactly why I came to Nepal. many rainbow brothers and sisters already in Kathmandu. Kathmandu was full of rainbows, full of these people who were gathered to go to the world gathering. And to access this place was a huge challenge in itself. There are basically no roads after one point. The place somebody talks about rainbow, the first image that comes to your head is the flags and the parades in the LGBTQ community. But it's more than that. There was a hippie movement between 1960s and 70s when the US was at war with Vietnam. The world was already suffering and falling apart from the war, greed, control and ego. And these hippies, these people who are called rainbows, they were and they are still known to advocate peace, freedom love and communal living and the people who are part of it are called rainbow family where there is universal brotherhood and sisterhood here i experienced magic it was homely met many amazing beings and made many connections the connections of lifetime welcome to the world rainbow gathering it's all about freedom peace love spirituality you learn so many things there's workshops all the time, dancing, singing, shamanism, Hinduism, Sufism, Buddhism, Reiki, healing, magic of nature, magic of stones, leaves, connecting with the self, exploring life in a new, more beautiful way. That's rainbow to me. So people all across the world, they first find a very nice, far away, beautiful place in the nature where there's water, there's all the supplies and they bring all the food up and there's a lot of people living together spread all across the forest, camping somewhere, making their small camps starting their own small fires and coming then to the main fire to eat the food the food is based on donation so after you eat the food there is a magic hat where people go around singing and dancing with the hat in the hands and you have to put the money, if you can't you can just put kisses and love inside and with the money People voluntarily go down to the main market, to the civilization, which is usually a very small village and buy the supplements and bring it up. So that's what we did. I went down four times to bring up the supplements like rice and poha and all these things. So people eat together, people live together. I had my own campsite, it was called Lost Souls Camp, where I was putting my tent. There was Alex around, there was Boyan around. There's hundreds of people I met there and I made very beautiful connections. Since this place was nestled in the untouched virgin mountains of Nepal, I was trekking a lot. I was exploring a lot. There were so many beautiful things to see. It was one of the most beautiful landscapes ever. One month in Nepal now. Beautiful. The sun is rising, it's 5 in the morning, super cold. I was keeping the fire the entire night because it was so cold. I did go to some high treks, live in the caves. Also got lost, life and death situation but found my way back because of the experience. It was a beautiful time. There are some rules to rainbow. So you cannot bring any currency. I mean you can bring whatever you want but you cannot use the currency. There's no term of currency in the rainbow or inside a rainbow gathering. So you cannot buy anything. All these workshops I was talking about, everything is free. Or instead, if you want to give something, you can give something. Like for example, some clothes, some incense. If someone likes, they can accept. There's always trades going around. There's someone always sitting on a big carpet with a trade. Some explorer from the world. With all this beautiful magic he has gathered from the world, he put it up on his carpet and he just sits there and wait. And if I have some nice magical stuff with myself and I like his stuff, I can go and show him, look, I have this beautiful peacock feather. If you want to trade it with your scarf, for example, it's like, oh wow, it's beautiful. I would love to trade. 
so this is how it works there's trading everything is free there are certain rules though you are not supposed to eat any non veg food you are not supposed to drink inside the rainbow you are not supposed to harm people fight people you know you are supposed to live with peace you are supposed to live with harmony you are expected to follow the guidelines you cannot use your camera inside i still that's why i don't have a lot of footages i have some personal photos and little bit of videos which i'll be putting up and other than that i have nothing you can voluntarily do work yourself you can bring the fire for the kitchen you can work in the kitchen you can bring fire for the main fire you can go down to bring the supplements you can help people if you are a medic you can have a medical camp if you know about hinduism you can have your own camp if you want to open your camp and call it a chai camp for example to just give tea to the people you can do that you can do anything and you will have the people coming to you and you will make many friends up there is tibet not so far but yet so far हमने टेंट लगाए नीचे की तरफ वहां से नीचे की तरफ उतर के दो चट्टानों के बीच में टास्क से चुप कर ब्यूटीफुल फ्रेंड्स ब्यूटीफुल ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स हंड्रेड्स ऑफ देम आउट हियर इन द रेमबो पंद्रह दिन तो मुझे यहाँ पे रेमबो में हो गए ब्यूटीफुल सिस्टर बिकॉज देर इज नो सिस्टर so main idea of the rainbow was to live like a tribe like our ancestors to to come together and live with freedom and i sure did experience a lot of freedom and beauty and i am in love with the rainbow it's beautiful and i can proudly say that i'm a part of rainbow family <laughs>